Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're out here today in beautiful Caledonia Mountain. Uh, we're heading down towards the uh, Crooked Creek area, do a little bit of camping. It's uh, great camping down there, there's lots of spots and uh, midweek, uh, early season, probably won't be too many people I wouldn't think, especially now it's not a weekend. We have uh, a new tent that was uh, sent to me by Pomali. They sent it to me a while ago, but I just never got around to trying it out. It's a hot tent. It's a uh, dome style, so I'll get a little more in depth than that later on. I brought my uh, folding stove with me to a little hot tent. It is going to drop down pretty cold tonight. And we're supposed to get some rain, so we'll see, uh, see how that goes. I have my uh, trusty dog, Wendell, with me. As always, doing a little bit of running, stretching those legs. Well, it's been a few years uh, since I've been on this 34 trail here, and uh, this is technically Riverside Albert. And man, it just, it's all these deep valleys here. I'm not sure how much that's going to show up on the GoPro. It's actually pretty cool. The last time I was here, it was all green with the leaves, and there's no leaves I can actually really see how steep that goes. You guys can probably tell too. It's a dry brook here in the middle. It goes up uh, up here. It's just beautiful in through here. This is all a protected area too. I think Irving owns all this, but I'm not sure. It's a beautiful day today. It's around 12 degrees Celsius. Not exactly sure what that is in Fahrenheit, but as always, I'll find it and I'll put it in the corner. I've been down here camping before, twice, different areas, but uh, not sure exactly where I'm going to camp this time. Maybe the same spot, but uh, we'll see. There's one spot I like a lot just because it's uh, tucked away and uh, it's nice and flat for the tent. And it's close to the river, obviously, and it's still pretty open, so you get quite a bit of sun and hopefully a little bit of breeze to keep the flies away. And I remember uh, some of my longtime subscribers might remember uh, I went across a really sketchy bridge down here. I'm pretty sure they have that repaired now. I think that bridge is finally gone and they put in a new one. I think it was probably the Snowmobile Club because this is technically their trail. Oh man, I really wish I had my camera rolling. There was, it was either a Martin or a Fisher. Wendell's heart is going 500 miles an hour. He's seen him. That was so cool. He was jet black. Wonder where he would have went. I didn't see him go up the hill. Oh my God, I really wish I was recording. I was just about to press record too. I picked Wendell up, that is lucky, because he would have went after that thing like a bat out of hell. And as tough as he thinks he is, I don't think I'd want him, definitely wouldn't want him messing with a fisher, because that would kill him. And what a fisher looks like. A fisher's like a big, bigger version of a marten, I would say. And uh, their favorite meals are porcupines, and it's pretty much the only animal that can kill and eat porcupines. <laughs> so that'll tell you how ferocious they are. That was one healthy looking animal. It was jet black. I don't know, it looked pretty big to be, I think it was a fisher, because I don't, it looked a little big to be a marten. That's only about the second or third time I've ever seen a fisher in the wild. Ooh. Look at that. This, in, at night, this is so dangerous. Coming down this hill. Maybe you don't see that washout, you just clip it a little bit 
you're tumbling all the way to the bottom. I don't know how far down that would be, but uh, it's got to be, I would think, 70 feet or more. But it's just beautiful in through here. So we should be down near the bottom of the big hill. And we're going to come up to the covered bridge. Beauty. And uh, this is the location of where the sketchy bridge used to be. Uh, you can see that the snowmobile club came in put in a nice, high, beautiful, galvanized steel bridge. Unbelievable work by the club. It's nice and wide, so side by sides and probably even a truck. It says good for eight tons, so Tacoma could even cross. I keep looking down at that water and it is crystal clear. I'm told there's rainbow trout in here. It's probably a fly fishing only river, I would guess. It's been a few years since I've been here, but still just as beautiful as ever. I noticed the water is down a bit. I thought it'd be a little bit higher seeing as it's spring, but uh, I guess uh, and it's, we've had a good amount of rain. But yeah, still just as nice as always. You can jump. We're here now and uh, just need to get set up. All right, guys. Well, I've uh, been away for a little while there, probably maybe a couple hours, but uh, got everything set up there now. I have a uh, a fire burning down, gonna get some coals, I'm gonna slap my Bitty Big Q grill, folding grill on there, grill up some chicken thighs. I have some new barbecue sauce that was sent to me by uh, Done Right Hot Sauce there in uh, Riverview. Small outfit there, local to me, and I love their hot sauce, and I'm gonna give their uh, barbecue sauce a try there now. I actually tried it already, so I can't lie to you. It was good, but uh, we're gonna try it on wing, or on uh, chicken thighs, Gonna do a chicken wrap with some veggies and stuff. I have the uh, dome tent all set up there, Pomali dome tent. I believe this is either a four or a six person tent. I don't know, but I do love it. There's lots of room inside and you can almost stand right up in it. But uh, we'll go take a look at that in a second. But right now, I'm enjoying a Gahan 1772 India Pale Ale. And it's, uh, it's a good beer. Let me go show you guys my beer weir. All right, so I didn't come up with this idea. I first heard it on uh, Joe Robinette a long time ago, but he called it his beer rear. All right, boys, that's the uh, beer weir. Keeping my beers nice and cold. I got, uh, I think, six tall boys. I don't know if I'll drink them all, but uh, better to have too much than not enough, as a wise man once said to me. <laughs> Uh, let's take a look at uh, at my new tent. All right, this was sent to me by Pomali a lot while ago. Just uh, never got around to using it. It's uh, their Dome Series tent, and uh, there's a door here. I have a door in the back, and there's actually another door over here on the side. So, whatever you want, guys want to configure it, you can. It does come with an inner uh, tent, with, like a bug net and stuff. But I didn't bother bringing it. Don't really like that stuff. But uh, I have my regular cot set up, sleeping pad. I brought both my sleeping bags so that I wouldn't have to worry about uh, 
if it does get cold and I have to keep the fire going. So if the fire goes out, that's okay. I have my uh, reflective uh, orange and then it's uh, reflective on the other side. Keep the, uh, oh, the window sighting. I have my little uh, folding chair. Lots of room in here. There's a pretty good spot up top up here where you can put uh, things you don't want to lose or get misplaced. I have some wood piled up there. Some of the wood I brought from home, some of the little cuts of two by four, and then the other stuff I uh, split up around here, some of it. All right, well, I can feel the wind uh, picking up. I feel it getting a little cooler. And I think we're supposed to get some rain tonight, so I'm gonna get these uh, chicken thighs on the go. This one here is just a plain one with some olive oil. This is gonna be for uh, spoiled dog here and then I have two thighs here with just some basic spice on it uh, salt pepper or seasoning salt pepper uh, garlic and onion powder so just basic and then I have some uh, like I said earlier I have some barbecue sauce I gotta put on there all right, so there it is, done right sauce. It's their barbecue sauce, made in New Brunswick. A list of, uh, oh, bottle 35, not bad. But uh, yeah, these guys are over in Riverview, just across the river from me, so I love their hot sauce, their wing sauce, and I uh, actually need to get some more, but we're gonna give their barbecue sauce a try too. All right, sit. Good boy. Leave it. Okay, get it. Good boy. The chicken's still nice and juicy, not overcooked. Chicken thigh is so much better than a chicken breast. So we have a uh, spicy barbecue sauce. Of course, not crazy spicy, but just adding in a little bit of tzatziki to kind of cool it down. Big thank you to the Dunn family for sending me Dunn Right hot sauce, or Dunn Right barbecue sauce, sorry. Just used to saying hot sauce. I got my uh, wrap here, chicken, grilled veggies, I got some uh, cucumbers, some lettuce, tzatziki. So, I'm sure this will be good. Only had a small snack at the start of the, this morning before I left. See how this is.
barbecue sauce as a, a tomatoey base, I would say. Smoky, uh, maybe chipotle peppers, obviously garlic. It's a nice sauce. If you guys like your barbecue sauce and you have just a tiny, tiny little kick at the end, be a good sauce for you. You can find these guys on Instagram and Facebook. I share their stuff. Or you can go to www.donerightsauce.ca if you want to order it. If you do order it, say you saw it on my video, maybe uh, it'll help me in the future. It's actually really good. I was starving. Wendell ate all his chicken really quick and now he's looking at me. You didn't eat your kibble. How come you didn't eat your kibble? But uh, I'm going to eat this, guys, and I'll, uh, I'll get back with you guys in a little bit. Well, we had uh, we had some supper, and I don't have any service here. But uh, if I go down this road and up to the lookoff, uh, I'll have some service. I'll shoot the wife a message. message to the wife and, and here's something over here and I think it's an owl. He's hooing. Don't know if the camera will pick it up. Hopefully that shows up on the camera. So this is Crooked Creek Lookout. If you guys just pop it in on Google Maps you'll be able to drive right here with your car. Hear the falls down over the hill here. Now I got a question for somebody that may know if they're watching. Oh, well, the gate's open now. This gate was closed on the way through. But uh, this gate's usually closed. I keep saying no tres trespassing, but there is um, just wide enough to get a four wheeler or a smaller side by side through to get over to uh, Crooked Creek. I was just wondering if uh, if that's still allowed. I mean, I see it says no trespassing everywhere, but uh, I was told before that uh, the guy just basically doesn't want trucks and stuff going down on his land. But if you go down with an ATV or a side by side, it uh, didn't matter. But maybe the guy's watching or somebody that knows him, and they could let me know. Because I have people asking me about Crooked Creek a lot. I haven't been there in a while. I'd love to go back. Back at camp, I managed to grab a little bit more wood. Got some good sticks off of for kindling and a little bit more for burning. Just so I wasn't scared I was going to run out tonight. It's uh, getting chilly. I 
realize now that I forgot my hoodie on my bed at home. But uh, the beers are cold. This one's a special one. This one is from a friend back home, uh, Jim Simmons. Porters Lake, Nova Scotia. Gave this to my brother to give to me to have out here on the trail. So thanks for the beer, Jim. I owe you one next time I see you. This one is uh, Tide and Boar Brewing. That's in Moncton, where I'm from. Uh, hoppy and juicy, hazy IPA. It's a mouthful and uh, it's a strong beer too. Not too bad. Thanks again, Jim. Appreciate her, man. Well guys, started getting cold, had to throw the toque on. I was wondering, is toque a Canadian thing only? Like, do you guys in America say toque? Or do you guys just say winter hat? It's just a uh, hunter's orange one to have in the bike all the time, but uh, just noticed it's uh, starting to rain. It's uh, 7.40 right now, so I think that was around time, last time I looked uh, about the weather, but starting to sprinkle. I'll probably uh, head in the tent. I'm going to push the ATV back. I don't need any sparks landing on it or anything or the gas tank or anything. <laughs> Well, we're stuck in the tent now. Pissing rain, so maybe I'll uh, get going on the little snack I have made tonight. And I don't know if you guys know, I don't know how you'd know me, but not know them, but the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel. He's always making uh, like bread patties, bannock, and then he makes honey butter and puts the honey butter on the bannock, and it's just really good. So thought tonight for a snack, that's what I bring, so bannock is really easy, uh, I think the native Canadians used to make it, I think it's actually originally a Scottish uh, dish or bread I guess, and the native Canadians adopted it and they kind of made it their own, so it's super basic, just flour, baking powder, no yeast, salt, and uh, I put a little bit of sugar in mine. I'm not a big sweet guy, but uh, we'll give this a try with the honey butter. So the way uh, Luke does it all the time, he just mix it right in the bag. Well guys, it's uh, 10 o'clock, not much going on, just listening to the rain, crack another beer, this is uh, Single Track Pale Ale by Greystone, one of my favorites. Probably going to end up drinking this and just passing out, I'm pretty tired anyway, I uh, just don't want to go to bed at 10 because I, I know I'll wake up early, but anyways, 
Uh, if anything happens, I'll let you know, and if not, I'll uh, see you guys in the morning. Uh, just a little update. It's uh, almost three in the morning. It's been pouring rain like this all night. Tent is holding up good. No leaks. A little bit of condensation on the inside, but that's to be expected. Well, guys, kind of torn. Uh, the tent is holding up really, really well. It's a winter tent. It's meant for the snow, and it's been pouring rain since about 7 38 o'clock yesterday. Uh, I noticed that the bottom of the zipper on the side that it's getting hit on, which is behind me, uh, there's a little bit of water getting through the zipper. Can't really knock it, it's meant for snow. Uh, I didn't expect that we we're gonna get this much rain, but uh, other than that, like, the spot that I thought that it would be the worst, which is right above me, is kind of like a flat spot. I have to keep poking it to uh, get the water to run off. But the tent is holding up really well. I just don't know if I should uh, call it or wait it out a bit. Do I stay or do I go? Well, good morning, guys. Uh, we made her through the night. Didn't pack up and leave. It uh, continued raining pretty hard until about uh, probably 6, 6.30. Now it's still raining, but not quite as bad. We got the fire going. Uh, we're gonna get some coffee on the go. Wendell's still pretty tired. I'm really hoping this rain stops. If not, it's gonna, I'm gonna have to try and shove Wendell up in my raincoat or something for the way home. We were not supposed to get this much rain. Uh, I guess you never trust a weatherman, but uh, the tent held up really good. We're just gonna have a little little cup of coffee here and uh, we'll uh, get breakfast going. She's hot. Little bit of bacon and this kibbles. There you go, buddy. Get it. my favorite breakfast I'm not a big breakfast guy but a BLT this is on oatmeal bread from Copan bakery right in Moncton so good stuff homemade bread wish I had a little bit of salt and pepper for the tomatoes but 
I forgot it. Mmm. Alright, I'm going to eat this, guys, and uh, might make another uh, cup of coffee and stop draining, so going to have to get packed up and uh, get on out of here. And uh, if anyone was wondering about my uh, coffee filter, well, it's like a dripper, I guess. Put your filter and your coffee in there, it just drips through into your cup. So it folds down nice and small. Uh, this one is made by GSI Outdoors. Uh, I think I ordered it off Amazon. But uh, I still have my one that Manzino Man, my friend down in New Mexico, sent me. It's just I like this one a little bit more just because it folds down nice and small. But I still have the other one at home. Well, it's been an awesome trip. Even with the setbacks with the rain, still fun, learning. And of course, my first time out since uh, I went camping with my dad and brother. Great video, you guys should check that one out. I'll put the link in the description. It's probably my favorite trip to date, just because it was with them. But uh, yeah, it was a good uh, good trip all around. All I have to do now is uh, get packed up. I was thinking in here just how much I love this area of uh, Crooked Creek and uh, Caledonia Mountain. It's all beautiful, like uh, you guys see with the drone, really, really nice in through here. And I love being here, but when I'm here, and I start thinking about the kids. I just want to go home and see my kids. It's so, so weird once you have kids. I was told that before I had them that you'll never have a feeling like that. But, uh, yeah, super true. So, I can't wait to get home. Although, they'll be in daycare. It'll give me time to get unpacked and cleaned up. And I'll see them tonight. So, All right. Got everything cleaned up finally. Took a while. It always does. Left a little bit of wood and uh, stuff for the next people. I picked up a bunch of uh, beer cans and stuff. I want to show you guys the beer rear before I leave. I think I would have probably lost some beer. That's it right there. The river's flowing now with all that rain. It's come up a couple feet for sure because that was just a trickle going through. I was packing up the uh, tent and I started calling for Wendell and I didn't know if he ran off after squirrels or something. And I'll, I'll post the picture. I didn't want to dig the camera up, but I'll post the picture, see if you guys can find him. If you go, if you didn't see him, go back. And uh, he's actually, you'll see a little bump in the tent. And that's Wendell, he, he was still under there. He must have crawled back before I could get the last pole out. And uh, he was under there, but we're gonna head out now. Nice. We are heading out. It was a great trip, despite the rain. But uh, one thing I realized is uh, if you're always waiting for that perfect weather, chances of you going out is uh, pretty slim because it's not always nice. And I've been itching to get out not exactly sure how much filming I'm gonna do just because it's raining and I'm sure my uh, I'm sure my lens is getting pretty dotted with water I kind of saw this little trail off of the main trail. Just want to see where it goes, if there's a another good camping spot maybe. I see in the trees were cut. Not recently, but uh, just kind of want to see where this goes. I should, I should be getting home because I got uh, my father-in-law's birthday and Annabelle's birthday is this weekend. She turns four years old. Crazy to think she's already four. 
time flies. That's a gnarly old tree there, look at that. Huh. I'm too invested now to, to stop and turn around. I have to see where this goes. I do love this about ATVs, the versatility. Just the ability to kind of go where you want. See, he's got little ribbons tied on to the trees. Can't help but notice that this part of the trail is not as well worn, so I don't know if this is new. See, they keep marking it. It's an old 40 bottle. Somebody's down here boozing. They got this uh, orange tape. Kind of hoping this brings me back to the trail. Neat little trail, though. Oh, okay. So, this road's going to go that way, and then there's a river crossing. But uh, I have to actually go back that way to get onto the 34 trail. Hopefully that's showing up on the, the phone, because the 34 is... See these switchbacks? That was one I was talking about. Uh, goes up a steep hill, it's all switchbacks all the way up. And I'm pretty sure there's a look-off up at the top. So, yeah, I got to... Uh, we gotta go back the other way here. That's pretty cool. Uh, it's a pretty cool trail. Oh, when do you gotta stick on you? Sorry, buddy. Well, I said I wasn't gonna do a lot of filming, but uh, I guess that was a lie. Thirty-four. Looks like we had a tree fall here. I drove by here yesterday and this was not falling so we'll uh, get it out of the way. rotten it's a heavy wet dead log This guy. Whew. There. Hmm. All right. Cool. Let's get going. It's already almost twelve o'clock. I don't know what it is. Packing up takes me so long. Window. All right, 
guys, we are back at the uh, snowmobile club here, and holy cow, it was not raining hard on the way home, it was just that heavy, heavy mist, and I'm super happy that I brought my uh, full rain suit. I wrapped Wendell up in a, in a little uh, tarp, or not tarp, I wrapped him up in his blanket, kept him as dry as I could, he was pretty good, he was just kind of trying to fall asleep the whole way, so I know he's tired. But uh, it was a great trip. Even with the rain and everything, it was still uh, made it a little bit more interesting, you know? If everything goes good, it's not that interesting. It's kind of fun when stuff goes wrong. I uh, don't know if the weather changed or what, but it was not what it was supposed to be. But uh, yeah, it was a great, uh, great trip. Hopefully you guys liked it. If you did, make sure to leave me a comment. I uh, love reading all the comments. I usually get back to all of them. Uh, you know, maybe let me know what you guys would like on the next video or maybe something you'd like to see me do or cook or anything. Feel free to share it. That's the best way for my channel and my uh, views to go up. If you guys share my stuff, maybe with your local club, that always helps out. I always feel weird sharing it on clubs, so uh, if you guys do it, I don't feel as bad. But uh, yeah, anyways, hopefully you guys liked it and I will see you guys on the next one. Cheers.